What is going on, party people? Welcome back to White Whale Fishing. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever done one of these. I don't know if I even know how to do one of these, but today we're doing a little unboxing. So, first and foremost, let's do this the right way. Cheers, happy Friday. I have no idea what day you're gonna see this, but uh, it's like 37 degrees outside and it's snowing. It's uh, mid-April and we're supposed to get a couple inches of snow. So, cheers to that. Boo! But the good news is, is that Sunday, come hell, high water, sleet, tornadoes, I'm getting out on the kayak. So, um, I'm gonna open up my little care package from Six Sense. And uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Six Sense is having a killer sale. I don't know what, when it expires, but if there's 25% off on all soft plastics. If you're a tackle junkie like me, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah. Killer sale going on. I took advantage of it and uh, got some new plastics. Ooh, cool. Everything came in these little sweet little six cents bags. Um, little swag for, for the truck. <clears throat> Let's start things off. The Divine Shaky Worm. Probably really good idea for this time of year since the water temperatures have plummeted and the fish are probably going to be finessey. <clears throat> this is the color grass candy. Packaging comes in a clamshell, pretty cool. Yeah, and this I've seen I've seen grass candy before, and this is your pretty typical color. Uh, I really like the shape of this worm. It's tapered, right? You can see it's a little thicker at the top, but purple. Purple on one side, kind of like a watermelon on the other side, with some blue, purple, and green flake in there. Green, purple flake. That looks like it's gonna work out pretty nicely on a shaky head worm. I smell like something. Don't smell like plastic, that's for sure. <clears throat> but, um, if I didn't mention it before I forget, um, that code, if you go into the Sixth Sense website, is SP25, SP25, 25% off. Oh, Stroker Craws. I've been really, really, really excited to look at these because jigs, jigs, jigs. I'm gonna have a jig tied on all year. And uh, I've been really interested about these. I've heard some people say they're too small for a jig. They're designed to be a punch bait and these look awesome. This color is Gill Dust, so I'm familiar with this color before because I've got some of the Six Cents swim baits in this color, but it's pretty much like a brown pumpkin, or like a dark green pumpkin with orange and purple flake. That looks pretty, that looks pretty sweet. Um, you know what? Let's put this on a jig. Let's see what this looks like on a jig. Better yet, let's wait a hot minute because I've got some jigs in here somewhere in one of these bags. So I like the way that gill dust looks. And my plan for this for this stroker craw, right, is to throw it on a jig. But because it's pretty much like a double tail grub, I'm also going to use it for the back of a swim jig and even for a chatterbait. Some other colors, right, we've got bluegrass magic and we've got platinum white for all you shad swim bait guys yeah this bluegrass magic i think is going to do really well in my area because i have found that uh, the bass in my area really like that blue craw type pattern um, <clears throat> so one side is like a green pumpkin laminate with blue flake and the other side is that blue craw laminate with blue flake um yeah and you you guys see what i mean by the tails on that it's like a double tail grub 
<clears throat> so you break those free and yeah that's gonna work well on a jig uh, I think that's gonna work really well on a swim jig really really excited to throw that yeah they smell like something don't know what that is so, in here. let's take a look at this worm these clouts so picked up two new colors that I've never used before this is the worm juice color right it's kind of like a green pumpkin on top and kind of like this I don't know dull pink brown and then throughout it's got red and black flake that's looking pretty tasty um, we're gonna be throwing that this weekend if the fish are not active and this melon flash color has got me really intrigued this kind of looks like baby bass uh, baby bass baby bass on top kind of like a pearl flash on bottom white glitter pepper flake yeah that looks pretty sweet big fan of that all right so we've seen the worms oh yeah swim baits so I picked up one pack of these swim baits already in the 3.8 size which is kind of like the medium size it's okay um, I'm not a small swim bait guy I have a hard time throwing small small swim baits like a small swim bait to me is a three inch swim bait so this is the 4.4 size this is electric shiner that's pretty sweet it's uh, it's like this really dark green pumpkin with the pearl belly and this blue and green speckles throughout this is a, a much tougher plastic than your kytex and your strike kings i think you guys can probably even see right that tail doesn't you know hang over i think these are going to be a little durable yep it's got that same stank hopefully the bass like that stank so this is another color 4.4 blood shiner yeah that looks like a sungill, but better in my opinion All right it's like it's like houdini on top and it's kind of like yellow pearl on bottom with this gold and red flake throughout that looks awesome that's going to look fantastic on the back of a bluegill swim jig getting inhaled by four pound bass this summer all right, I'll be right back. To you guys, it's gonna be like a second. To me, it's gonna be like 97 minutes. Be right back. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of a finesse cut skirt jig in my area, but this is the new Six Sense finesse jig, right? And it's a round ball head, and it's got a finesse cut skirt, but... <clears throat> It's got a screw lock. Huge fan of the screw lock on the on the Six Sense swim jigs. This color is called 5K Craw. All right, so you got some green pumpkins, some browns, maybe even a little blue flake on there. That's pretty fat. And we're gonna put we're gonna put a gill dust stroker craw on here. Let's see if I can get this right. First take. If you've never put one of these if you never put a soft plastic on one of these screw heads it can be a little challenging the first thing I like to do is I kind of line it up like where is it gonna pop out right it's gonna pop out somewhere around there and I take the barb of my hook and I just want to go through that plastic just a little bit kind of make a little mark on it so I know where to come out so I know where that hook point wants to come out and first what you've got to do is you've got to thread your bait on thread it on straight and then you've got to come out wherever you want it to before you start screwing it on All right so I've got my hook point out and then <clears throat> you've got to start to spin this bait on there but let me tell you what man once it's on 
it's on. And then as you're spinning it, it's traveling up the shank of the hook. One more and we'll be good to go. But you guys do not have to worry about like bluegill pulling it off or small bass just grabbing the pinchers. That bait is on there. And that fits that jig perfectly. <clears throat> now, personally for me, see how far down that skirt's hanging past that hook? I'm gonna trim that, kind of hang my jig upside down. I'm gonna grab all my skirt material and I am going to pinch it. And I'm gonna come in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut off half an inch. Is what I don't want I don't want that skirt interfering with those claws and for me that looks way better see it's not hanging super far past that hook it's not going to interfere with those claws at all and that color dude that color looks so good here we've got a moccasin jigs flipping jig in black and blue teamed up with the stroker craw in June bug red that June bug red looks fantastic. <clears throat> I haven't trimmed the skirt at all. If you guys own any moccasin jigs, you know they come pretty ready to fish right out of the package. But I am really liking the look of that. All right, so next <clears throat> we've got this Six Sense Divine <clears throat> uh, hybrid jig. I haven't found a trailer that I love for it yet but I think that the problem may be solved. You know what? I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna put it blue up. I have a feeling the bass are feeding down. That does it for me. That, that's doing it for me right there. Kinda looks like a molting spring craw with the browns and the reds and the blues. Yeah. So let's talk about one of the sickest looking baits in this box. The prawn. <clears throat> that is green pumpkin burst. That thing looks awesome. <clears throat> I am gonna pair this on a moccasin jig 7 16 ounce finesse jig. And that's like a green pumpkin with black and green flake. <clears throat> that prawn's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop off, I don't know, half of an inch. This is going to be one of the sickest looking baits that I throw this weekend. I hope this thing gets chewed up. I think this is one of the best colors that Moccasin makes. <clears throat> and look at how good that guy looks. That is a fantastic looking jig. <clears throat> and for all you swim bait guys out there, I couldn't resist. I just had to throw one of these stroker craws on a moccasin jigs um, swim jig to see what it looked like. That's the size. I didn't have to trim anything up. Dude, that's going to be absolute fire. That's all I got, peoples. Um, six cents. Great, great specials going on right now. I'm not, so, I'm not part of their staff. You know, they don't send me free stuff. I have to pay for all my stuff. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just believe in their products. I think they're fantastic. Um, if you're familiar with them, get on there, place an order. If you're not familiar with them, you should get familiar with them. Get on there, place an order, save yourself some money. But um, <clears throat> we're not doing much fishing right now because the weather's just been like, near, near. I'm sure it's the same thing where you guys are at. Half the country is like, you know, back in midwinter right now. Um, but like I told you before, hell or high water, we're fishing Sunday. We're making a video. Uh, <coughs> we're catching bass or bust. Hopefully it'll be a great day. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think about the baits. Uh, if you're familiar with any of these baits, let me know what your thoughts are on them because uh, I've never fished any of these soft plastics other than the clout before. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon on the water. Take care, tight lines. God bless. See ya.